Hey guys, today I am going to walk you through step by step on how to get a full coverage foundation contouring and highlighting application down pack. So let's jump right in. Our first step is priming our skin. Primer preps your skin for the perfect foundation application. When you find your perfect primer, it will extend the wear of your foundation, fill in those fine lines so your foundation doesn't crease. Basically, it gets your skin all the way together. So apply it before your foundation and let it dry or set for a few minutes before putting on your foundation. The next steps are all about full coverage without the cakey effect. I'm gonna be using a damp beauty blender and I'm gonna be sharing with you my top secret product here. Yes, it's a liquid concealer. I love MAC Pro Long Wear Liquid Concealer as my base to my flawless coverage, okay? So two pumps, I'm going to simply just evenly put it all over my face by doing a patting motion with that damp beauty blender. I know you guys are probably saying, but that looks super red, and it is. I love using this because it takes a small amount to cover up all of my discoloration, and then I just apply one layer of another foundation that's a cooler tone, and it balances out to my neutral skin tone. So, that's the trick. You have to layer to get full coverage. I know it seems like it's a lot, but my makeup lasts all day, and it's flawless all day day so I took one pump yes one pump of the makeup forever foundation and I'm just going to put it on top of what I've already did as my base and now you can see that the tone is starting to cool down it's not as red and it's starting to just give me a very even and flawless finish you guys it literally looks like my skin so hopefully those tips will help you if you're like me and you have a hard time finding your perfect foundation match make sure you guys check the description box below this video i will have everything that i'm using listed there and um thumbs up if you guys would want to hear a video just about foundations and finding your perfect color so my next step is going to be highlighting now why do we highlight it brings light to the places that often seem dark or sunken so you'll see people highlight their foreheads, under eyes, and chin, as well as their nose. This lets the light reflect off those spots and bring them forward, which creates an illusion of alertness or changes the shape of the face. So if your face is fully, feeling a little bit more full, you can highlight and contour to kind of bring it back to what you would normally look like or what you want to look like. So you'll see that I am softly blending that in in a patting motion using the narrow side of the damp beauty blender. When picking my highlight color, I like to go two shades lighter. It might seem bright at first, but when you blend it in, it should leave a very soft, illuminating effect in the areas it's used. You'll notice I press the concealer to the sides of my nose, to the outer corner of my eyes, and then I softly bring it down to the top of my cheek area. I'm now gonna highlight the bridge of my nose, my cupid's bow, and my chin. Those are the only places that I'm gonna actually put some concealer on. Using the same padding motion, I'm going to blend those areas out. Now, the key thing here is there is still product on this beauty blender. And what you're about to see is even though I didn't put concealer in other areas, I'm still going to use the remnants of what's on the beauty blender to highlight other areas that I don't want as defined. Okay, so that's a little trick. You don't always have to put the concealer where you want it to be highlighted. You can use what you have left over. All right, so our next step is setting our highlight. I love using this amazing combination of Ben Nye, Banana, and Topaz powder. As you can see, I'm using a brush, and I'm setting that powder on those highlighted areas using a padding motion. This is very important. A lot of people will just show you throwing a whole bunch of powder on, but won't really explain why they're doing it in a padding motion. You want to pat the powder into where you've already placed the concealer. You do not want to brush it away like you're seeing me do now, until it's set, okay? So press the powder in, allow it to set, and then you can brush away the excess, unless you're baking. I'm not baking, I have dry skin. Baking's great for people who have oilier skin because it allows that powder to soak up all of that oil, which gives it a very clean and creaseless effect for the whole day. You'll also see I'm using just powder to kind of go in and highlight underneath where I'm going to come back and contour. So remember I stated, I remove all of that excess powder. I'm just gonna use my powder brush, there's nothing on it, and I'm just gonna go in and I'm gonna softly remove that excess highlighting powder. 
In all honesty, you guys, I could leave my face just like this, but this is a full coverage video, so I wanna show you contouring to the max. So my first step is going to be taking my contour stick, which is actually a Bobbi Brown foundation stick. This shade is only one or two shades darker than my skin tone, okay? You don't wanna go too dark because then it can leave a muddy, nasty looking effect on your contour, okay? You'll notice that it was also warm. I like using warmer colors to contour because it gives you that suntan effect. So you'll notice when I put the con the cream contour on, I went from the temple of my face to the outer corner of my eye. And I'm just going to softly blend those two areas in. And then whatever I have remaining on my brush, I'm gonna take it around my hairline to bring in some depth and to bring I guess with me highlighting in between my forehead, it brings that section forward, but then when I contour around my hairline, it brings that section back. So it gives me a very nice sculpted face look. Now I'm gonna come back with my pressed foundation powder. Yes, you guys are getting it. I use a ton of foundations on my face to do all of this. I'm going to simply come in and set that area. This foundation powder is literally one shade darker than my skin. This is how you don't have to over blend and work your face to death, you basically just pile on shades that are just slightly off from your skin tone and it gives a very natural and soft effect. So now it's time to set my entire face. I know you're like, but Maria, you just set your highlight and you just set your contour. That's correct, but there's areas that have not been touched with powder. So I like to go back in those areas and I like to set it with a loose foundation powder that's the same tone as my skin. And here comes everyone's absolute favorite part of makeup, and that is the highlighting. I'm using a MAC Skin Finish here, and I'm just going to put it in between where my highlight and my contour are, so it meets right at the crest of my cheek in the highest points of my face, really bringing those forward. Besides your cheeks, you can also highlight under your brow bone, you can highlight on the bridge of your nose, the cupid's bow, all these wonderful places but I like to do that with a warmer color versus a brighter color. So I'm gonna take my NARS Taj Mahal and I'm gonna go in, this is a blush, so I'm gonna use it to blend out some of that highlight so it's not so streaky and also to warm up those cheeks just a bit. And then I'm going to bring it to the tip of my nose and I'm gonna hit like my forehead and my chin and just different areas on my face that I wanna bring a little bit more color and warmth. Now, let's set all of this hard work we've done. I know it seems like, but you just use powder. You have to set the powder, okay? It's, it's, it's levels to this. I'm simply going to mist that chill makeup setter from Urban Decay all over my face. I'm gonna let it dry. I'm gonna finish my lips and eyes, and voila, guys the finished look. So hopefully you found this tutorial to be somewhat helpful. I know it was a lot of information and there's so much more that I can share. So don't hesitate to leave any questions you might have down below that'll help me with the next video that I wanna do for you guys. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.